Two years. Two years I've been waiting for this and it finally showed up. I don't know where the rest of the uh, core set. I don't know where the rest of the core set is, but this has finally showed up. And even after the descriptions of it, I had no idea this was going to be quite this big. So it's this is not an unboxing. I've already opened it up, but I just had to show this off. So for reference, this is a four foot by two foot table. And once the, um, I'm not sure the term for it, but once this is assembled, it sticks out to about here. All of the masks on this kit were magnetized. So once they're assembled, they can be taken down and transported it to a game shop. And the ship is designed to be broken down into all the levels to be played. I have to say, I'm really impressed that they molded these pieces in one shot. These are absolutely massive. Are they one shot piece? Maybe they're not. Now that I look at it, I don't think they actually are one piece. So they pre-assembled some sections of it. I've never painted anything this large, so I'm kind of terrified to paint it. Everything that I've done so far has just been a miniature or a train piece is barely bigger than a miniature. So it should be an interesting project. I have noticed a little bit of warping in certain spots on it, like this back deck. But I think, like a miniature, if I get this in really hot water, like fill the bathtub up as hot as it'll go, soak it for a few minutes, that'll probably level back out. But overall, it isn't actually bad. It's a flexible material, kind of like the Bones miniatures are and there is a lot of detail in this all the individual ports have hatches um, they actually modeled all the stuff for the rigging these are all the pins that all the ropes would be wrapped onto So there's Sophie herself as the uh, figurehead. And many, many cans. This is going to be a bit of a project on its own to paint. But thankfully before this showed up, I got an airbrush and started learning how to use that. So that should speed this up a lot. Um, one of the things we were talking about is whether or not I'm actually going to run all the ropes, which they don't include, but would come from here up to each one of the masts. And I think I actually am going to set that up. I'm not sure how I'm going to make it compatible with the magnetic masts coming down, but I know it'll get in the way of actually playing, but I haven't played as much as I would like over the last couple of years, so I think this mostly is going to be a display piece for me anyways. So, I really like the filigrees details that they put into these. Um, especially the ship name spot back here. I'm honestly kind of impressed. I thought it would be a little less detailed than this. I have seen some of the pictures, but like these, uh, I'm not sure what these little critters are called, but carved into the ends of the railings as finials. Now, 
I thought this was going to be closer to this in size, which that is the Mega Bloks. Um, yep, I forgot his name. Flying Dutchman. Yeah, that is the Mega Box Flying Dutchman, and that I found at a thrift store, and I intend to do a conversion. I've seen a couple other people do it, where they shave all the all the Lego Lego pegs off and do some wood decking in there and repaint it. Uh, I have most, but not all, of the mast pieces. So I'll have to make up for some of that with some custom stuff for three D printed. But surprisingly, it's just about the right scale. But I was assuming that this ship would be much closer to that. And this is, as you can see, massive in comparison. But I like it. This is going to be a big project. I'm going to try to do like a diorama around it with some of the Brian Wynn characters. Which I'm not going to go into great detail as to what is in this kit. But there are, let's see. Yep, don't know. A lot of miniatures in here. Uh, it seems to be three split three ways between pirates, zombie pirates, or uh, skeletal pirates, and a few of these. That one's a market stall. Okay, of those guys. <laughs> Have the uh, ladies of the night there. The orc one is. I get a kick out of this one. There we go. These guys that have uh, they remind me a little bit more of the Pirates of the Caribbean crew. They got eels coming in and out of it. It's not in here, but I hope it's still coming in the other box. But I should have the rowboat and all that stuff to go around it. So I was thinking of building a dock and stuff for wherever I'm going to put this in its final final place in the house, which we're going to have to find a way to make some room for it. It's currently the biggest decorative thing we have. But I think that's all for now. I will be filming the process of building this one up and painting it. Yeah.